Madam Chair, I want to speak out strongly in support of Senator Scott's amendments and also uh, associate myself with Senator Lee's remarks. You know, every one of us flies airplanes an awful lot, and we've seen the announcement that begins at the beginning of every flight where they say federal law requires that you wear a mask. Now, the last I checked under a constitutional system, if federal law requires it, then it is appropriate for the United States Congress to make that determination because the only way something becomes federal law in this country is if Congress passes a law and it's signed by the president. So we have full authority to do so. We are coming through a pandemic. Uh, light is on the other side. And I think these decisions should be driven by the science. I think it has been deeply dismaying seeing how the CDC has, in the course of this pandemic, allowed itself at times to become politicized. I think the emails from Dr. Fauci were deeply troubling, the extent to which they engaged in politics rather than science. And I would note that CDC has been quite clear that for people who are vaccinated, masks are not needed. It's worth noting we are sitting here in a congressional hearing. To the best of my knowledge, every senator in this room has been vaccinated. And we're sitting as close, Senator Fisher and I are sitting as close as we would be sitting if we were sitting on an airplane. We're not wearing a mask, and indeed, not a single senator on, in this hearing room is wearing a mask. Not a single Democrat, not a single Republican is wearing a mask. Because, shock of all shocks, science actually means something, and vaccines work. This mandate right now is hurting the aviation industry because it is depressing demand for commercial aviation. This, this committee has taken extraordinary steps to provide support for our aviation industry. I can tell you two weeks ago, I flew to Israel. It's an 11 hour flight to Israel. We wore masks the entire time. You literally had flight attendants who would wake you up if you were sleeping, which many of us tried to sleep at least an hour or two on the flight, who would wake you up if your mask slipped even slightly below your nose, they would shake you and wake you up. This is performative theater. This is not science. This is not keeping anyone safe. And if our objective is to encourage people to be vaccinated, and I think everyone on this committee has encouraged people to be vaccinated, then one way to encourage people to be vaccinated is for there actually to be a difference in what you can do after you've been vaccinated. And I think repealing this requirement and allowing people who have been vaccinated to choose not to wear a mask on an airplane would increase demand, increase travel, would, would tie the policy to the science. And, and I think it, it is a common sense step to take.